Hey, go homie, I'm Ethan. And I'm Saz. Today we will be bringing you your announcements, weather, sports, and much more. And GPA TV starts, starts right, right now. now. Round time. Three, five, four, three, two. Attention IB students, join your IB teachers for a pancake breakfast in room 3109 on Friday, September 28th from 7.15 a.m. to 7.40 a.m. Breakfast is free, so come eat and remember to register for your assignments. The 2018 homecoming dance is October 12th at 6 to 10 p.m. In, the GPA, in the GPA gym. The theme is Gohomi Carnival with carnival themed food for purchase, free carnival games and great prizes, great prizes to win and fun photo booth. That actually sounds great. Who are you going to ask them to dance? Your mom? It's open to all 9 to 12 grade students, so make sure you get your ticket soon to get a discount. Ethan, have you finished your community service hours yet? No, I actually haven't. I need to get them done. Well, here's a story that can help you with your community service hours and help you possibly get a job and teach you about responsibility. Let's check it out. As you know, every year, students here at Guahomi have to get 30 hours of community service. Have you thought about ways to get community service? One way is becoming a service learner at the Vista Branch Library. Hi, uh, my name is Daniel Aguilar. I'm a librarian one. Uh, I'm a teen librarian here at the Vista Branch Library. And yeah, I'm also the teen volunteer coordinator. Uh, I've been working here at this branch for close to five years, five years in December, and with the entire library system, which is the San Diego County Library System, for 10 years in October. Hello. So a service center is essentially a teen volunteer. Um, it is exactly what it means. Uh, it is a teenager. Um, here at this branch, a teenager between the ages of basically 14 to 17, and they come in and they volunteer at this location. Uh, I usually supervise them, um, however, sometimes some of my coworkers will, depending on the date and time and job. During the regular year, uh, there are shelvers, which is exactly what it means, they shelve books. Uh, two, repairers. Uh, they go out into the collection and look for items that are broken, like books, CDs, DVDs, and repair them and assess them. Three, uh, we have tutors, uh, basically um, teens who tutor children uh, between kindergarten and sixth grade. And last but not least, uh, we have program specialists, which in essence help out with a specific program um, to basically show up on time, show up to your uh, scheduled uh, volunteering date and time. Um, providing us with a minimum of 40 hours of volunteering, um, being professional. Um, that doesn't mean that you have to dress you know, professionally. Uh, that just means that you, know, you act in a professional manner, meaning yes, no, you know, being able to communicate um, questions, being able to communicate uh, concerns, statements, being able to understand us without having too much emotion into it. So this experience uh, as a teen volunteer is basically a stepping stone in most people's lives. Everybody volunteers as a teen, or at least most people do. They volunteer for various reasons, uh, principally for college, college applications, scholarships, even um, job experience. Most employers will, like, will want you to have some type of experience, even if it's volunteering. So um, this helps uh, basically acclimate you to a professional environment. Um, a lot of times teens have difficulty working in strange environments because they're so used to home or their circle of friends that they don't know how to interact with strangers, specifically strangers who hold them accountable and supervise their work. Um, we hope that this is a memorable, memorable experience for most teen volunteers. Sometimes it isn't, sometimes it is. 
at the end of the day, we just hope that it is a good experience overall. Volunteering can teach you many things and help you grow as a person. Being a service learner at the library can teach you how to manage your time, become more responsible, and an organized person. This has been Natalie Taylor reporting for GPA TV. Wow, that was really great story. Yeah, I could possibly get a job in the future because of that. Yeah, and you can get your community service done. Yeah, I need to do that. The North, the North County Fire Protection District and Sheriff's Explorer Program have created programs that assist you to be successful in life. There are various programs to enroll in, so visit their website for more information. Now let's take a look at weather with Elijah. What's up, go homie? It's Elijah Stock here with the weather. This week will stay in the high to low 80s and we're going to get a, a slight chill with the low 60s at night. With fall starting, temperatures at night will get colder, so now you can finally get comfortable in your jackets and sweaters. In North Carolina, due to Hurricane Florence, flooding has been going on for several days. As many as 8,000 people in South Carolina are preparing for possible flooding. It's been Elijah here and out of sports with Nick. What's poppin' my go homie homies? It's your boy Nick coming at you with your school sports report. First up, we have high school cross country. Practices have started and if you would like to join, it will be Monday through Thursday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in the Lower Wellness Center. Please bring running shoes and athletic attire. Next up, we have girls basketball. The team is looking for a team manager to do the scorebook and a film guy or girl to film all girls basketball games. Also, the boys basketball team is looking for a team manager to do the scorebook for JV and a film guy or girl to film their, their games. Please see Mr. Mormon for more information. We have a correction. If you're interested in joining girls high school soccer, we are having a mandatory meeting Wednesday, September 26th at 3.15 p.m. in room 3212. If you have any questions, see Mr. Mormon or Coach Flowernoy in room 3212. That's all I have for today. I'm Nick. Now back to the studio. College visits are coming to Guahomi. Sign up on your Navient student account to attend. The colleges are Northern Arizona University Fashion Institute of Design Merchandising, University of Redlands, and University of San Diego, and University of Oregon. That's really cool. Yeah. I might go to one of those or something like that. Yeah. Stop by counseling with any questions. Well, by the way, Ethan, do you like sandwiches? I actually love sandwiches. I don't think there's a sandwich that I don't like. And now onto a story about the classic sandwich, the peanut butter and jelly. As I sat down at my table today to eat my regularly scheduled banana on a stick, I thought to myself, I thought about sandwiches. This world contains many sandwiches. Club, BLT, pastrami. However, there is one sandwich that outshines all of them. This sandwich is not only praised for its simplicity, but also for its versatility. The sandwich for which I speak of, of course, is the elusive, the dazzling, and the legendary peanut butter and jelly. Because of its simplicity, however, the PB&J has many different types of variations. Today we will explore them. Perhaps we can find the correct combo of ingredients to create the ultimate PB&J. Join me on my mission. Joining me today is myself, Kai Rude. Before we can even begin to understand how to create a PB&J, first we must understand its history and go through the grueling process of understanding its nutrition. Modern sandwiches can be traced back to 18th century Europe. The inventor of the sandwich is said to have been John Montagu, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Flash forward to the PB&J. In May of 1896, an article in the magazine Good Housekeeping encouraged people to make peanut butter in a meat grinder, then spread it on bread. This combination became popular with the lower class at the turn of the century because the price of peanut butter plummeted. 
The sandwich was further popularized by children in the 1920s when jelly manufacturers added sugar to their products. Since then, the PB&J sandwich has become a staple of diets in the American children. A study in 2002 found that the average American will have eaten 1,500 PB&Js before high school graduation. And now for nutrition. A peanut butter jelly sandwich made with white bread, two tablespoons each of peanut butter and strawberry jelly provides 403 calories, 18 grams of fat, 58 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein, which is 27% of the recommended daily intake of fat and 22% of the calories. Welcome back to the table. As you can see, there are quite a few ingredients strewn out in front of me on this table. I will use these ingredients to create the best sandwiches, the most unique sandwiches, the most newest sandwiches that are PB&Js of all time. Cue the montage. No, don't forget the glass of milk. First up is the normal PB&J sandwich. This is the simplest sandwich you can get. It's normal jelly and normal peanut butter on normal bread. He seems to like it. Next is Sandwich 2. This is a slightly fancier sandwich on artisan bread, crunchy peanut butter, and jam. It also has Lay's potato chips in it. This last sandwich is a fancy sandwich. This fancy sandwich has sourdough bread, almond butter, jelly reserves, bananas, and it's toasted with cinnamon. I like sandwich one because it's easy, it's efficient, it's fast, and it doesn't have as many calories as the other sandwiches, so it's healthier. At long last, we have created the ultimate sandwich. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Although it is fun to experiment, I always find myself going back to the basics. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do conclude that the best PB&J sandwich is also the simplest PB&J sandwich. Stay hungry, my friends. Wow, that was really funny and really good. Yeah, that was, that was really interesting. Yeah, we learned about the history of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. There will be a mandatory meeting for all juniors and seniors planning on registering to take IB exams Tuesday, October 2nd at 315 in room 3121. If you have any questions, see Mr. Thompson. That's all for today, go homie. It's been Ethan. And Silas. Now, now signing, signing out. out.